Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus Black. We share the same Prepare first name. yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Weasley. Must be like 50 of you. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Can't wait to start classes or wait to explore. I want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. I put the sorting hat placed me in Ravenclaw because I joined my fan club account, and that's what I have been sorted into there. However, I think I'm going to choose to go into a different house. Uh, because for those of you that do not know, each house will have one uh, unique quest um and i've done a little bit of future reading and uh i think one of the other houses uh interests me more so although i do feel that ravenclaw is a excellent choice i i am going to um choose to go into the noble house of hufflepuff now, Hufflepuffs are known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Gryffindor for daring, bravery, and chivalry. Slytherin for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. And Ravenclaw for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Uh, once again, while this may be the house that I am properly sorted for, I am going to go with Hufflepuff. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Oh, does it have a different... Does it have a different thing for each house? 
possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival right. here this I'm evening. Ready. I'm ready to become the best badger I can. Patience, loyalty, hard work. I'm ready. Better be Hufflepuff! <laughs> Don't mind my cape. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! A new game it's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Snobby professor. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. To the kitchen, as I was we saying, go. I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Am I worthy? Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. Anything hidden? Anything in these apples I'm supposed to? Nope. <laughs> Ew. Don't need to hear that. This is like a little nice rustic area. I like all the attention to detail in, in these houses, the alleyways, the books. The archways are really nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat another apple, I learned my lesson. greenery and space. Can't 
Is it? Like Professor Weezy or Professor Hecate more. Hecate. No. I think all of these lead to different common areas? They do. Oh, sorry. This is cool. Being able to explore all the different alleys and hallways of the dormitories. I've already Annoy. forgotten which number I belong to. Professor Annoy seems to I bet somebody has spent a lot of time researching oh, each of these. Seems there was something in here. Is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out in time. See, this is my problem with open world games. I just love to explore and see everything that there is. I suppose some introductions are in order. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own no company shit. anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Yeah, I do have a lot to be catch up on, but... I'm really I'm not worried. Anymore. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. Are you I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. Really. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You have such a lot to do. Alright. Why do you think do you, you should have really been in Ravenclaw? Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. <laughs> Adieu. I wonder if eating, like, saves my health. If I am injured and don't want to use my healing spells. Oh, dear. Alright, let's go oh, see. It's alright. Who are you? Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. <gasps> oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway. I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. See, you're much more nice than the other one. Are you Let's sure everything is alright, Uncle? You. Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. I have a feeling we'll be revisiting you. Thank that. you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. There's a cat meowing somewhere, but I have no idea where. Arthur's got you. It's all right. right you don't need to be frightened, little cat. Potions. I, like to uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. 
Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Well, magical ones are pretty cool, so... I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. What are all these yellow dots on the map? Is that the path I'm supposed to follow to get out? Can I go explore upstairs? Okay. I'm allowed to go up there, I guess. <laughs> All right, we get it. Stay on track. Stay on track. I get it. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. I gotta go clean all that up. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. <laughs> Just disappears. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Well, I gotta figure out where I put it first. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Seriously, I really like the attention to the detail for the... I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Then Using the guide work. will also train you to be alert... Revelio. Do keep up! Yeah, 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 I'm working on it. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. The House Elf Recipe Book. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations, this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled dirigible plums, are likely an acquired taste. Cool. Got a recipe book. You've unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. Alright. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points. Okay.
Okay. Got some challenges to do then. This is your wizarding level. XP from your challengers increase your level and power. Oh. You know I'm gonna be the most powerful wizard in Hufflepuff history when I'm done with you. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Okay. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Okay. Oh boy. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlocked at each tier you complete. S special rewards unlocked at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. It's okay, I can read. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect words you have unlocked. Okay. So, Clever, I... isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. At first I thought that was just a plate of beans, but... <laughs> Then I realized. Oh, what are you? Oh, like a, I can set my spells. That's cool. Man, I am so gonna get lost. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Oh, is that what I found downstairs? Jeez. This is going to be a gigantic map. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live, and it includes house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Okay. What's on the right? Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. That's nice, I can just fast travel back. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered. Okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Okay. Good to know. Select the library to continue. Okay. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flames for me. Use to rotate the map and fast travel to the Central Hall Flu Flames with that. Okay. Alrighty, I guess I can fast travel. You know, a map is big when you need to fast travel within your own and building. And here we are! Quite the time saver! These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I suppose I'd be curious about the That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. So many questions that I have, but let's let's see what you mentioned. Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. 
You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Lastly. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against that. the Dark Arts, as against the name the implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. All right, enough questions. Time to explore. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Okay. Judging by your adept use of Revelio <laughs> earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. There is, but I, uh, I, I can't tell you. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Nice of you to show up. Just had to cover our ass for you. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? You did, but I didn't like the lot I did her. try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. We got a new quest. New quest. 
The shield represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completer, completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Alright, so it seems right now we can go to these two. What, why are you shining? Or is that is that just where we are right now? Man, there is just a whole bunch of stuff to do now, isn't there? Alright, uh, I'm gonna go... Let's go to Charms first. So in Charms, the field guide map shows Professor Ronan's class and the astronomy wing. This castle is enormous. I may need to use the Charmed Compass in the field guide to help me find the way. Alright. Oh, the map okay. is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yes. 